Um, I want to go back to the lines, but with me, speaking of the death penalty, Kathy Clifton is with us. She is the stepdaughter of the last woman executed in the United States. That would be Teresa Lewis out of Virginia. Lewis convicted in the murder of Kathy's father, Jillian Lewis, and her brother, C.J. Lewis, and she witnessed the execution of Teresa Lewis. Kathy, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Kathy, you were there. Could you just tell me in a nutshell why you decided to attend the execution? I assume it was lethal injection. Yes, ma'am, it was lethal injection. And I did attend um, to get some closure from, from the trial. I, I attended in, in, in light of my father and brother because they couldn't be there. So you felt that you were there on their behalf. I can understand that. Kathy, when your stepmother was finally executed by lethal injection, isn't it true that with lethal injections, the defendant basically drifts off? They just go to sleep? It's not painful? They just doze off and that's it and they don't wake up? Yes, ma'am. It's almost like um, if you go in for surgery, how they put you to sleep before they take you into surgery. Um, it's actually easier than that. Why do you say that, Kathy? Compared to the, the destruction that was wrought, she went to sleep. She didn't have to worry about anything. She wasn't in any pain. She was in a secure environment. She just went to sleep. She Can I ask you, Kathy, in retrospect, now that you've examined it, you witnessed your stepmother's execution after she murdered your father and your brother. How do you feel as you look back uh, on that execution? The execution was in, for her was entirely too easy. She didn't suffer. She, didn't, she had nothing else to deal with after that. My father fought for hours before he actually passed away. My brother's life was taken with the first shot. She went to sleep. She didn't suffer anything. The only justice that was actually done at that point was final closure and knowing that she would have to face ultimate justice. If there is a God, she would have to face him. Kathy, I, I'm always very concerned when I ask crime victims about the crime, but... Could you ex tell me one thing? Why did your stepmother kill your father and your brother? For money. For greed. What, insurance? Yes, ma'am. She thought my father was worth a lot more than what he actually was when she married him. Um, my mother had passed away shortly beforehand. Um, obviously, there wasn't a lot of insurance, but she didn't know that. My oldest brother um, passed away two months prior to the murders. He was active Navy and he had a Navy life insurance policy of which my father was beneficiary of. Mm. So that was just, that was the instigation. instigation. And then my youngest brother, CJ, was soon to be shipped over to overseas to Afghanistan. In the process is in the military. They, they require that you do your last will and testament and update all of your insurance policies and send them to your next kin. So that was actually sent to my father's home. And she actually had my brother's last will and testament. And 